So we're just going to get right into it. I didn't even leave any time for an intro. Sigma Corde Rosa palette. Here's the colors. Check them out. Like them. Love them because I already know what I'm using. So I chose this color here, this copper brown, because I love pennies. Don't even get me started. I know the pennies so underrated, but Nazanin is a fan. And so I'm going to start by shading over my eyelash, over my eyelids. Sorry. I, my words get jumbled when I start to think about pennies. And so now I'm doing this little shading process. Ladies don't want to apply too much pressure. You don't want to bruise your eyeballs. So then you're going to want to continue this process of shading in these colors until you have your desired shade. And I like to hold the mirror down low, not only to check for the right shade, but also to make sure I don't have any boogers. And so now I'm going into hyperdrive. This is a mode I use when my husband's in a hurry and he's rushing me through my makeup. But that's not what you guys are here for today. So I'm going to slow it down just a little bit and add in a different darker shade so that we can start this ombre effect. Oh, look at my little Nala Choo Choo Bear. Oh, mommy loves you. Ooh. Side note, since she's still doing her eyes, I'm not sure if during this video I'm supposed to be like talking like Nas. So that's why at the beginning I'm using like a girly voice. Or if I should just be talking like me. So that was one conflict I had. And then another one is that now I am realizing I know nothing about makeup. It's not that I thought I knew a lot. But I thought because I knew like words like primer and contour and highlight. Like that this video was going to be a breeze. But I honestly cannot like r explain this the correct way. Not even just trying to be funny. But honestly because I don't know what we'll have this stuff is speeding right along i'm going to continue blending with this beautiful tiffany blue paintbrush that i got from joann's it was on sale ladies make sure you keep an eye out during this part i love to keep one eye slightly open just the same way it is when i'm asleep look at now on the back she looks like she's plotting an exit i just farted a little bit so she might be trying to escape sorry tmi i mean but i'm just being honest and you're going to want to take your sweet time blending this eye out. So make sure you cancel a couple things from your schedule or to-do list because this is going to take a while. Sidebar, I wonder what be going through Nas's head when she be doing her makeup. Like, what do you think she, she think about right now? Like, hmm. She probably just got sounds going on in her head, not even thoughts. Like, hmm. <laughs> Bruh, if y'all not laughing at that, y'all not thinking hard enough. Can you imagine just her doing this makeup to perfection like this and the only things going through her head is... <laughs> and now that we're almost done with this, after a couple more strokes, comes my favorite part. When I get to use my husband's used dirty Q-tips. He doesn't know that I use them, so keep them a secret, but it just makes me feel so much closer to him. Oh, I just love that man. And then we're going to use these lashes made of real Viking chest hair. Yeah, real Viking chest hair. I couldn't believe it either. But first you have to prep your natural lashes. Make sure you get them nice, plump, and fluffy, looking beautiful and luxurious. So that we can go ahead and apply these 100% authentic Viking chest haired eyelashes onto our <laughs> natural eyelashes. Make sure you're using extreme focus during this part so you don't have mental breakdowns like I do sometimes when I'm trying to put my eyelashes on. You might want to use the power of the Jedi to make sure you really lock in and get these lashes put on. And you know, this quarantine really gets to me, so F it. I just love to dance. So now we have this e.l.f. primer, and I like to do this fun little thing where I just put dots all over my face. It just It's just fun to me, you know, so I just do it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing, like, in my voice or if I'm supposed to be trying to imitate knobs, but, yo, this is so funny to me right now. And then using the tips of your fingers, you're going to rub this all into your face, making sure to leave just a little strip on your forehead and some on your nose for later. Oh, actually, you know what? I decided to just take it off my forehead and just leave a little bit on my nose. Um, and we're going to do the same thing, the nice, fun way that I like to apply but this time it's going to be a little bit more of a football player style. And we're pulling out the Easter egg because it was just Easter Sunday. And we're using this Easter egg to kind of smear everything in so that our faces 
and our lips blend in more together and they're harder to find and we look kind of weird when our men come into the room at this point just like mine did wow speaking of the devil hey handsome and so you're going to, want to apply a little bit of a darker shade around the eyebrows and really take your time and get in good with the detail as you can see here i am really going slow and focused and now i'm back at it with the easter egg and i'm kind of just mixing everything in and i look a little bit scary right now honestly at this point if you're not looking scary you're not doing it right so now we're going to take this and now we're putting like war paint on and the reason i do this is so that when i go out to the club men know not to talk to me and it kind of wards off predators and then once you complete the hawk wings under your eyes then you can just go crazy put a little bit on your nose a little bit on your chin some here on the forehead just start to go crazy pick up different colors you know it's your art we're picking up brown now we're throwing a little brown on the sides of our face putting some brown on our nose um i believe this is contour correct me if i'm wrong but I don't think that I'm wrong when it comes to this specific. So I can see she's putting a little bit under her nose. She's starting to resemble a reindeer of sorts. Uh, it's not the holidays yet, but she's making me feel it with this uh, reindeer look she has going on currently. Next, you're going to want to lightly punch yourself in the face with this Easter egg. Just all over the place. Just light punches. Little love taps, if you will. All over the place. Even up under the eye. And now I'm blending it in here on my nose, taking it up under the eye. Be sure not to mess up the lovely masterpiece you already did above your eyes. So be careful during this part of the process. While I do this, I like to stare into the souls of whoever is watching this video right now. Now we have the Huda Beauty and this is my favorite part. I love to just slap the powder all over the desk and kind of just make a mess before I get started. And then I'm going to just take this powder and put it up under my eyes, uh, put a little bit up on my nose, some on the chin, and pretty much the look you're going for is like a powdered donut just slapped you in the face. And so now we're going to take this hula and blend it in a little bit more. It looks like we're virtually doing nothing, but trust me, ladies, this is a part of the process. Trust the process. And now we have this Fit Me by Maybelline. And this is when you're really going to want to emphasize that uh, powdered donut slap across the face and uh, really just kind of create like a powdered donut beard. Um, Wilt's looking dead into the camera, um, you know, into the souls of everyone who's watching this video. And so now you see I got a little bit more pep in my step. I'm going a little bit faster. I'm reaching the finish line of this beautiful look that I'm doing. And now we have the chocolate orange truffle life hack. I put these little candies and rub them all over my face so that my dogs will lick my makeup off at the end of the night. I like to use them as my little secret makeup remover because they make sure to get real good into the nooks and crannies and get all my makeup off from a long sweaty day. And so you don't want to put too much chocolate to the point where your face turns like brown, but you want to just have enough so that the flavor is there and it still attracts your dog. They deserve it. And I'm back using the Cora de Rosa mirror. I kind of like to use these mirrors because they're a little bit closer and I can check my boogers at the same time and and now I'm just going to show you this little um, colored pencil that I have this pink colored pencil you're just going to go inside your eyes kind of to the point where you're drawing on your eyeballs almost at the same time as your bottom eyelash and trust me ladies this is the difference and we're going back in it with the eyelash brush just kind of trying to lengthen out those eyelashes there at the bottom do a couple swooshes swoosh 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 oh nala get down what are you doing she's trying to escape i'm sorry i just farted again nala and now i'm going in with this anastasia highlighter 
Um, because if you're not shining, then it's not diamonds. And you know what Riri said, shine bright like a diamond. And that's what I do, ladies. That is what I do. So you're going to put a little bit on your eyelashes. I mean, you're going to put a little bit on the corners of your eyes. And this is so that I feel like a fairy throughout my day. I kind of feel like a little bit like Tinkerbell. And then now you're going to want to outline your lips with this uh, brown colored pencil that I have. Uh, I have a lot of colors. I got the Crayola uh, 78 pack, so it came with a lot. But this brown is my favorite for when I'm outlining my lips. Just going to want to take this color and kind of outline it to the point where you just kind of draw another set of lips outside of your lips and rub it in. Now we're going to be using these lip paints here and painting on a thick layer uh, so that my lips are permanently stained until I get home and fall asleep in bed because I was too lazy to take my makeup off and now my husband is using makeup remover wipes to wipe off my lips and take off my eyelashes for me so that I don't wake up with my skin breaking out and I'm complaining for the whole rest of the day because I didn't take my makeup off and now it's my husband's problem. <sighs> Ladies, I found a way to bottle my man's moisture after the gym so that I can spray it on my face after I do my makeup and I have the scent of my man's sweaty back all day long. And now for the main event. Ooh, ah, mmm, the eyes, ooh, mmm, ah. Yes, fake rose, mmm, 